Hi, and welcome to Stats with Mia. In this video, we're going to be talking about visualizing missing data, how to create a picture of the data that acknowledges the missing values. We'll be using some simple tools in R to do this. And these visualizations will help us to understand the composition of the data, how much is observed and how much is missing. It'll help us to think about the missing data patterns and also some relationships between the variables. We'll be using three different R packages. The first is called Narniar, and I just discovered that it's named after C.S. Lewis's book Narnia because the world of missing data seems like a completely different world. And cleverly, it also looks like NA in R. We'll also use a command from mice. And I'm going to assume that you are comfortable using syntax from ggplot2. So let's begin. We will use the cats data set that I introduced in a previous video, which is all about the ages and incomes of 30 cats, where income is measured in the number of fish. In the mcar version of this data set, a completely random selection of values are missing. In the MAR version of the dataset, we observe the pattern that cats who are a little bit older tend to have their incomes missing. We will also be looking at the Ocean Buoys dataset, which is available in the Narnier package. If you load the library and write data Ocean Buoys, you'll be able to see this dataset, which was collected by the Tropical Atmosphere Ocean Project. We will first look at how to visualize the composition of the data. I've loaded the packages that I need and also the three data sets. The vis underscore miss command from the Narnier package gives you a picture of the data set. So here we're looking at the cats m car data set. It displays in gray the observed values and in black the missing values. At the bottom, it tells you overall how much of the data is missing. And at the top, it tells you the percentage of missing observations for each variable. Now let's have a look at the cat's mar plot. As you can see, it's mostly the income variable that is missing here. And we can do the same for the ocean buoys data set. Here, after we zoom in a little bit, we'll see that there are three variables that are missing in this data set. And in particular, there seems to be two big blocks of observations, one for air temperature and the other for humidity that's missing. We'll now look at how to visualize missing data patterns. And one way to do this is with the md.pattern command from mice. In this plot for the cat's mcar data set, each row is a missing data pattern. In the first pattern, both income and age are observed. There are zero missing variables, and there are 15 observations that fall into this pattern. In the second row, we see that there are eight observations where income is observed and age is missing. And in the third row, we see that there are seven observations where income is missing and age is observed. For the CATSMAR dataset, we see a similar plot, but the frequencies have changed. And for the Ocean Buoys dataset, we see a more complicated plot showing that the first five variables are observed, and these last three variables can be missing in different configurations. And note that the plot orders the patterns by frequency. An alternative way to plot these patterns is by the ggmissupset command in Narnia. Here there is a bar representing the number of missing values for each variable. And in the cat's mcar dataset, we don't have any observations where multiple variables are missing. But if we look at the plot for the ocean buoys dataset, we see that these connected dots here illustrate that all three variables are missing for two observations and sea temp and air temp are missing for one observation, and so on. Finally, we will illustrate relationships between variables while still acknowledging the missing values. Let's plot income against age 
for the cat's m car data send. We can do this in ggplot2. Now, we will get a warning telling us that there are 15 rows containing missing values. We'll now use geom miss point from Narnier instead of geom point. And you'll see that the plot has been augmented by these red dots that indicate missing values. So it shows age even when income is missing, and it shows income even when age is missing. In this MCAR dataset, we don't observe any obvious patterns in the missing variables when we look at this relationship. If we instead create this plot for the MAR dataset, we will observe that many of the missing values for income occur where age is large. And this is expected because of the way that we generated this data set. There are many other ways to visualize data, so I've linked in the description box a vignette by Nicholas Tierney for more tools from the Narnier package, and a resource by Steph van Buren for more tools from MICE. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.